Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 61 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6 and we will work back on uh, login register part and uh, now again we will work on register form that we are doing in last few videos and uh, in the last video we have seen the validation that we have added uh, like uh, if we are not going to add anything it will show us to add validation okay and also we have done uh, that uh, uh, check unique uh, email check that the email already exists check will come uh, means uh, that the user need to add the unique email and now in this video what we will do we will continue with this thing in this form we are going to add the password transmitter means we are going to tell the user uh, that your password is not strong that we are going to hint the user, we are going to help the user uh, to give the strong password because some kind of transmitter will come that will tell the user because a lot of our advanced websites are going to use now this password indicator because uh, the uh, website wants to tell the user that they have to give the strong password if they uh, want to make their account with their website, okay? So that password will not going to hack by any of the hackers, okay? So in this video, we are going to do this thing and in uh, part 61 in part 61 uh, we will continue uh, working on uh, user register form and, and this time we are going to add some jquery password checker plugin in that indicates that helps the users to give strong password okay that will tell the user to give a strong password okay so first of the thing that we will use that we are going to search in google search google okay so First of all, all uh, we need to search in Google for keyword like right, uh, free jQuery password plugin. Okay. So, uh, okay, now I'm going to search this keyword. This thing I have done earlier as well. So, I able to tell you in such a convenient way, in such a perfect way and then we need to open this link, okay? And then, and uh, open below link, okay? So you can also do the same thing, see uh, this link you can open, okay? So uh, after, see, now there are many jQuery password plugins you can see and you can use any of the password plugin but I am looking for the one that will not destroy the design and that will have uh, means uh, look good in our password in our user form. So out of this all uh, you can do any of the one that you like but uh, I have done the one that I like okay and you can see there are many password plugin that you can implement in your website and see the one I'm going to use uh, the one uh, with uh, the name something like visual password transmitter okay so I'm going to search my um, visual visual trend something like this which I have implemented okay uh, so i'm going to search for it and uh, we'll see um, that will use the uh, one minute uh, password strength password strength yeah this seems to be the one password
in our folder public uh, js content and js here we need to paste it okay see the file you can do like to file get modified uh, it is not coming okay now so uh, you can see like this you can see like this that we able to add it and this is the uh, password strength .js file and now okay so in second step copy and now uh, js we have done with now copy css now copy password strength .css copy password strength dot css from uh, plugin css folder to see here public will come you must know that it's located in public okay to css front end underscore css folder okay so this is the step next step we need to follow so we can copy the css to our uh, this one css container of css here we can copy this one okay so find that is fine for strength dot css okay so this one we have done and now we can continue uh, with uh, the uh, uh, one more uh, image file uh, that we are having here uh, we need to copy this one as well okay so now the in the third step okay yeah okay good okay so now we will copy uh, this image uh, copy i dot svg image uh, from uh, from uh, plugin img folder to images front end underscore images folder okay now we will do this step and you just need to copy this one to our folder here in images front end for images here you can copy this image okay so after copy this image uh, you can copy you can continue uh, here uh, third now now we are going to update our uh, front design file front design uh, dot blade dot php file okay so now uh, include js css uh, in front design blade file that we have added uh, in earlier step okay, added in last step okay so now we are going to add this js and css in front design so i am going to open the front design okay so now we can add here control shift p and here we can give the path okay so i'm oh, sorry i click on wrong folder and now see uh here we can click on this css and uh, this one front end css and this is the password sense dot css and we can copy this one here okay so like this okay so this is the one and uh, we just need to copy the script as well okay so here we can give it and the script also we can check that where we have added we have added in js content of the js and the script file is password sense dot js that we can copy here okay so yeah it's fine here and we can see here it is fine now and now we can continue and uh now there is script and then that we can update in uh 
update uh, main.js file uh, now uh, there is another uh, jquery script that we need to add in main.js file like below okay so yeah only address mistake okay so here uh, you need to add this script and you can see the description also given and we follow this one we have added css we have added js okay so now let's see uh, now these are the scripts that are given but we will we are going to copy this one okay so this is the script that we are going to copy and uh, okay and we can also copy uh, from the one that we have downloaded and you can uh, simply mm, move this here in code html here you can simply remove and see the we we want to update in main.js file we can open main.js file here and then index.html html here as well and here we can find that the uh, here it is working fine and here is this group that we need to add okay this in ready function we need to add this one okay so in main.js we can add under ready function see here we have added the form addition after this because it is also related with this thing and here we can add the password transcript okay so we can mark it like password transcript okay like this and here we can add the script like this okay so now it is fine and one more thing we need to add here uh, that is related with the image and uh, we can see the image part here yeah here okay so here this thing we can add and other option also we can use if you want to use okay it's your wish if you want to use them uh, but right now we are using only this one and here also we need to track the path it's not like img it is images okay we have our images folder and on images folder it is front end underscore images okay this is the thing we need to do and now we have added the script as well password transcript and now uh, we have added this below script here okay you need to add this script password transcript and after adding this script Okay, after adding this script now, uh, we will move to our last step and in fifth step, uh, we are going to update our form, update login, register, get file, login, register, dot, play, dot, php file. Okay, uh, now we will add, okay, add ID uh, to password. Okay, yeah, that is uh, my password we can add like this that is my password uh, okay so uh, we need to add because here uh, we are giving uh, the my password id so we need to give it as it is same like uh, we are doing in example so we will follow the same thing we are going to uh, do this thing in login this bit file i will add id to password with my password uh, Okay, uh, in login and this blade file. Okay, so we tag at this form. Okay, so uh, the one uh, we are going to open login this blade file, and here uh, we need to add uh, my password. In place of password because we are now using my password okay so here we have added this one and now we can check here that it will work fine or not and i am refreshing it the page and it is the first attempt and see that we able to uh, finish this task in first attempt or not and now uh, i am going to add something some password oh no it is not working I think it is uh, we can now inspect the issue okay so might be something is irritating and we can open full 
and we can also uh, increase its size and see password strength is having some issue okay so uh, now we need to find where is the issue in main.js it seems to be issue some issue and we need to find that where the issue is coming for password strength password strength okay and uh, here we need to see that we have added all the files or not and uh, so css is fine and uh, another file and we also need to find that we have added all the script fine correctly container for js query both past strength and we have also added jquery past strength dot uh, js that is fine okay so we will find out why this error is coming and we will come to control shift r once more chat is not a function So the spelling is correct. Okay. So uh, this past strength. Okay, fine. Uh, password. Here yeah, it is given password. And in form. So here we have given my password. It's wrong. Okay, it is password strength dot JS. This is the issue. So we need to remove jQuery from here and see we find it the issue now. Now we need to uh one uh like this and now we need to refresh it again. See such kind of errors do come but we need to overcome them and now we will check again and see the strength again come because it is pre default vector. So uh, it is coming fine weak it is it is weak still weak and now it is medium and now uh, now it is strong now it is strong now we will check again uh, yeah it is very strong so uh, you can able to make it strong very strong means it depends upon you the password you will select and you need to give some capital letters you need to give some numbers you need to give some special characters you need to give some alphabet to make it very strong password okay so now uh oh, now we able to give okay uh after uh adding everything uh, in a correct way okay we able to run password strength meter we can say uh in our password Field of user register form. form. Okay, so uh, uh, you need to give uh, a strong password like uh, like give uh, some uh, alphabet, some small, uh, small, uh, some upper, lower case alphabet 
uh, some numbers and some special factors like at the rate of this one dollar okay this one you can give okay uh, that's all for now uh, we will do more in next video thanks for watching okay i hope that everything is clear to you we able to add this password strength meter password strength plugin uh, in our website and it is working perfectly and it is looking beautiful as well and uh, see this image that we have added uh, okay so now it seems to be perfect and uh, that's all in this video and we will do more in next video thanks for watching